and we're going to go to the first <laughs> challenge. And that's what it says up here. We're about to explore a really cool world. So let's pop in, and we can already see our first challenge right here. Welcome to Agent Trials. Challenge one, go forward. Move your agent to the start plate to begin, and teleport your player to get them quickly into position, and then to be aware of the turn. So I'm going to go here, step on the start plate. All right. Now I'm going to jump over here to my code connection. And so what we have here, this is the easiest way to create commands is by typing commands into the chat. And so we have one of these up already, but we can eventually start to create many of these. And so I'm just going to pull a few out just to have for some of these future tutorials. But for now, we're going to go here to the agent. And the very first block is right here, teleport the player. Now notice, this is just like Scratch. I always like to tell kids it's kind of like clicking Legos. If you don't click the pieces together, they fall apart and it doesn't build anything. Same thing with Scratch and everything else that we do. It's, it's X'd out, meaning that it's not connected. So we want to drag this block up here. And this says, Agent Teleport to Player. And we can type in any command we want. So I'm just going to put my command as here. So anytime I type in here in the chat, my agent's going to come to me. So if we go ahead and do that here, I type the T on the keyboard, it opens up the chat here. And if I type here, he should arrive. So let's take a look here. Boom. Check him out. There he is. Okay. And then what it told us to do is to be aware of the angle that he's facing. So if I look at him here, I can see that he's kind of facing off to the side. And so what we need to do is turn our agent. All right, so we're going to go ahead and, and turn him. So I'm going to go back into my chat. I'm going to create one over here just called turn. And we're actually going to use this turn block. And left is actually going to work because he's facing to the right, you notice. So we want to turn him to the left. So I'm going to hit T in my chat. And I'm going to type in turn, and boom, there he is. He has turned, and he's facing the right direction. All right, so now we got him facing the right direction. We still haven't completed the challenge. We've got to get him to this gold block, which is right here. All right, so we could do a couple things. We could count. You kind of see where that highlight of the block is. So there's one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we gotta get a, we got nine red, which means we gotta go 10 spaces to get to the gold block. Nine red, one gold. So we can jump back over here. All right, actually, we'll pop up over here. So we can watch it. All right, I'm gonna jump back over to my code. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this. I'm gonna change this to move. And I'm actually just going to make this one L for left. Eventually, I can make another command for right or backwards or whatever I want. Um, so I'm just going to convert that to L for left. And we're going to do this move. And we're going to go over here to agent. And we're going to click this one, move forward. All right. And since we know that it's 10, we're going to type in 10 here. And now if I go back to the game, all right, and I go to my, hit the T again, and I type in move, he should move 10 blocks. Let's see. Boom, there he is, and the door is open. We have successfully completed mission one. So we're gonna move on here to mission two. But before we do that, things that you can look at when working with kids, or even yourself, you need to realize that there is a variety of ways here. What I'm basically building now is like a control panel. But your students could actually go and actually keep all this in one block where we could have moved this block here down to teleport player then we're going to turn left then we're going to move forward 10 like we could have done it that way and so there's multiple avenues for how we get this going and how we actually achieve this so you could have the kids raise their hand you could watch them do it you can look at their code they could screenshot it they could start to put things in their portfolio if you're not sure how to do that don't worry about that at this point the goal here is just to get kids thinking and sharing and, and what are all the different ways in which we could do is something as simple as move 10 blocks. That would be a, a pretty cool classroom conversation piece. 
So we're going to dive into challenge two here in the next video, but at least this way it helps you start to understand how this works a little bit, especially if you were stuck in the first version or the first challenge of agent trials. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to call this agent trials. And there it is. And when you're ready, let's jump into challenge number two, which is going to have us do what? Your turn to turn. Let's figure out what that means in the next video.